put two and two together, I'm like, damn, okay, so I just got to follow the formula to success to find success. And this was 20 years ago. Fast forward to today, I got two decades worth of experience of that, and now I'm sharing it. Connected to Sales Remastered. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel. I'm your host. And today is Thursday, April 19th, 2018. And man, it feels so good. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it feels good this morning. And I believe that you yourself can find reason to feel good this morning. Me personally, I feel good because number one, today's my Friday. <laughs> And I know, I know, I'm supposed to have just that, that hustle muscle that never stops, right? So I don't get excited if I get a weekday off, but I do because it's my queen's birthday this weekend, my wife's birthday. And this woman blessed me with a wonderful life, beautiful children, and holds it down while I'm on my game. And so I've dedicated this entire weekend to her. As a matter of fact, as a, uh, as a way of giving back, <laughs> I decided to do my launch, of course, which is tomorrow, the day before her birthday. And I'm still trying to figure out, like, man, this is a launch, so I know I'm gonna be wanting to, you know, stay close to, to the media apps and social media uh, uh, applications just so I can see the feedback and see the, you know, see the activity. But I promised to avoid that and be more focused on the things and the reasons why I hustle for. And that's actually the reason why, or one of the, the topics that I wanna cover in this short episode um, it ha number one is uh, <clears throat> before I even begin, you know, about a month and a half ago, two months ago, I did an announcement that I'm going to be interviewed on the Salesman Podcast, which is uh, a uh, it's a podcast show that that originated from the UK, and they have just a, a massive amount of, uh, of followers of salesman followers, business to business, business consumer. Anyway, Will, the host of that of that channel or that podcast, reached out to me and asked, you know, saw a lot of the traction in the videos that I have and the content that I have, and he really liked the spin that I have. So he liked the uh, the different techniques. You know, it's just a, a different way of looking at sales. It's a it's a completely new way of looking at how to influence, persuade, and sell somebody. And so it it you know naturally attracted him because it has a lot to do with sales, has a lot to do with the science of selling. And I think one of his uh, crew members may have may have found it. Anyway, he had me on the show. It finally aired today, and so if I can remember, I'll leave a link to that to that interview or that podcast um, below here. But um, it it, g <laughs> it gave me a good opportunity because number one, that that show is located in the UK. That's on the other side of the world, and then number two, everyone now on that channel has heard my name and my brand somehow made it to that side of the world because I was branded up. I had the, I had the Sales Remastered t-shirt on and I just dropped gold. I'm talking about just like they weren't ready for it. And, um, and what's interesting enough is that this channel is where you know other influencers have been on throughout the years. You know, from Jordan Belfort, for example, you probably heard of him. Um, other influencers, and, and you know, you may not agree with these particular influencers, but they were on there. You know, and other up-and-comers who are entering into the digital landscape to create their own digital brand. And so I was fortunate and blessed to be on that show. I'm very thankful that he found me and that, that we were able to collaborate. If you know anyone else who, who you believe that I should collaborate with or any, any ideas in terms of, hey, yo, get in contact with this channel, hit them up on the DM. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about the, the legwork. Just put, put your notes, you know, make a mention. Say, hey, man, you need to get on this show. And even if it's like Grant Cardone or even if it's like Ryan Sumer or whoever, you know, I'd like to know your feedback. So leave a comment below. Let me know who you think I should, I should try to uh, persuade into doing a collaboration. Anyways, going back to the topic of this channel or this episode, you know, what I, what I wanted to do was um, really kind of touch on the live story that I just completed on the Instagram feed. If you haven't added me on your Instagram feed or even your Facebook feed or your YouTube feed or any of the social media feeds that you see links below to this video, please do so now. So that way you get, a, get, a, get an option or at least an alternative form of content. And, and in that particular channel, the Instagram, I did a live feed or live show about my post today on the Instagram feed that says, 
Um, it's a picture of someone getting ready in this, you know, they're just, they're about to go get it, right? That's the picture, that's the setting. And the quote said, I will get what I want no matter what. My caption or what I wrote on the post was, the moment you realize that it's been a choice this entire time, that's it. And I think that that's powerful um, because, you know, just the, the, the feeling of, of the picture. So I want you to see that. If I remember, <laughs> I'll leave a link to that exact Instagram post below so that way you don't need to go fish or search for it. But if you, if you just go check out the Instagram feed, I think you'll see it. You'll see plenty others too. Let me know your feedback on it. But it was an interesting topic and I had to make some content on there because I haven't really dove too deep on, on, on choice and alternatives and, and the fact that you know we do have a, a decision to make and we have to make the decision often. And it has to do with, uh, with you know, whether or not you're gonna go get it or not, right? Like the, the quote in itself says it all, like I will get what I want no matter what. And that is a choice, it's a, it's a, it's a pill that's hard to swallow for a lot of us because that pill has to do with things that are above and beyond or, or extra to what we're normally doing. Meaning we will have to exchange it for something. So if that it, which that it is your hustle, is your dream, is your next level desire, but that it gets in the way of other things like, I don't know, softball practice, you know, um, what else? Gym, right? It just it gets in it gets in the way of something that's in your comfort zone, something that you believe you cannot sacrifice or you believe that you cannot attain. And sometimes it, it maybe it's not you know your schedule. You could probably have open hours in the day, like you just yeah nothing to do. <laughs> but what holds you back is the fear of rejection. Maybe you think you're too young, or you think that you don't fit in, or that you you don't deserve to to live the way you live or they live, right? Like you don't you don't have the accolades or the credit yet to to walk amongst the gods and you feel that you have to stay down here with the devils. <laughs> you know, and I believe me, I, I came from that because I as I came into corporate America, I looked nothing like how I look now. You know, I was a I was pretty young and thugged the fuck out. And at the end of the day I had I had um you know a big Ted. When I say big, I'm talking about Shay like it was smoother than this. You know, I'm Filipino, by the way. I don't really grow facial hair, but you know, just imagine this, just all the way around. And uh, I had these hoop earrings because that was cool back in the day, and these cubic zirconia earrings. You know, so I, I and it inner switch, so I'd have these huge fake ass diamond earrings, but it was cool back then. Or these big hoop earrings, and and you know, like it, I was just I was big. I wore baggy clothes because that was the thing, and I just didn't fit in. And so I came in to corporate America with this chip on my shoulder because I knew I had to do the things I needed to do to do what I wanted to do. And at the time, what I needed to do was establish an income, establish a career because I had a baby on the way. And I was not going to let my children go through what I went through growing up. And so I did everything that that is what rooted me. That is actually the fire. But it, it required that I, that I do things that was way out of my comfort zone, such as walk among people who are in corporate America. And so I didn't like tucking in my shirt. I don't like doing these things that people need to do in corporate America. I was using slang. I, I was, you know, I, I was just young and dumb. And I'm not saying you're young and dumb if you're still using slang. As you could tell, I still use slang. I still got that shit in me because it's my DNA. But what I'm getting at is I don't have this chip on my shoulder where I think everyone's the enemy because they're not. Because I realize that I have a choice to look at them as an enemy or I got a choice to look at them as the example. Whether they were the example of how to win or they were the example of how to lose. I studied these examples. And what I found are different commonalities from good and bad environments in which you can rule in both. And what it had to do was with mindset, it had to do with your self-belief, your internal dialogue, the way you communicate communicated with people. And so even though in the bad environments there were let's say gang leaders, right? Or 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 gang bangers that led a specific group. What I learned in those bad environments is that it just took one of them to take the role and then the rest would follow. Same thing in the good side of uh, or good environment. There were VPs and, and branch managers and managers and you know people had their suit all fucking double windsored up and they had the audacity to take the role and so then they became leaders and I put two and two together. I'm like, damn, okay. So I just got to follow the formula to success, to find success. And this was 20 years ago. Fast forward to today, I got two decades worth of experience of that and now I'm sharing it. I put it in this, in this 
uh, digital training course called The Secret Formula. It's a step-by-step -step blueprint of showing you what it takes to be successful in sales, to be successful in life or whatever industry you happen to be in. Now, the lingo is tailored towards mortgage bankers because I'm going hyper-focused and hyper-niched. I want to build the brand first, get some you know, social proof like I've been getting and then start to expand and show people how this applies to their industry too. But if you want a sneak preview of how to really close somebody, if you want to understand how to properly communicate with that person to persuade and influence them to buy from you, to give you their loyalty, to give you their commitment, to give you their urgency, right? Then I, I urge you to go learn about the product, the clothes, or the secret formula. There's a link in my bio that shows you the information on this product, that shows you what this content is about. And if, 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 you know, you want to get more of a preview, go check out the last couple of videos. Go check out my history. Go, go check out this salesman podcast. You know, that, that podcast was done like two months ago. And see just in that small window how far this channel has come. And I want you to really be honest with yourself and really understand that you have a choice. You have a choice right now to continue moving forward, trying to learn it on your own and waste the time of trial and error. Or you can have a mentor in your corner, find out the fast track to the same destination you want to go and the same levels you want to reach, just a fast, clear path. It's very similar to, you know, let's say you go to work or any place that you go to commonly every day and then you realize there is this shortcut the entire time. What happens? You end up taking that shortcut because you're like, dang, how come I didn't know about this shortcut? Shortcut had no lights, it had no speed bumps, it had no stop signs, it had no traffic. And it was just this clear path. It's like, man, this... The shortcut's been there this entire time. You mean I didn't have to waste the time and the hours and that ever happened to you? Well, that's what's going to happen come Saturday morning or come the first, the first student who passes the course and who actually goes through the training module. They're going to have that, that moment just like, holy shit, is that all? Is, is this, it, man, it's been there this entire time. Thank you. Now I'm going to go run. I'm going to go build my empire. I'm going to go automate my system. I'm going to go hit those tiers that I so desired all this time. And I'm going to remove the grunt. I'm going to remove the headache. I'm going to remove the, the heartache, the stress, the, the doubt, the fear, all of that negativity. Now that I know how to orchestrate and complete this system, I can create and implement a formula that was learned from a from a veteran, a practitioner, a coach, someone who understands your language, someone who has felt your pain, and someone more importantly, someone who has already overcome what you are about to face. I'll see you on the inside. Bye.